and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Sabrina and I have a whole bunch of cats. Welcome, welcome. Today's topic is really important, especially if you're a cat owner or even a dog owner. These are seven foods that your cat should absolutely not eat. So before we get into the foods, I have a funny story. I don't know how funny it is. It's probably not funny at all. It's a serious story. I have a very serious story to share. If you know me, you know, or if you follow any of my social media platforms, you know that I spend a great deal of time fostering cats and kittens. And in the summer, it's primarily kittens because it's kitten season. And I've been doing this for years. Well, this summer, I had a foster kitten named Nelson. He's a trash panda. He would literally jump up on the kitchen table and grab a piece of someone's cheeseburger and run off. I was filming him when you catch him in the act. And then I posted what I thought was a funny, harmless video of him grabbing different foods. And one of those foods included a grape. Came up grabbed the grape, ran off, and dropped it. So before I go any further, I just want to say he's completely fine. He did not swallow the grape. He's fine. He's adopted and living a very happy, healthy life somewhere else. I, I just want to preface it with that. But when I posted the video, I posted it on all the major social platforms and immediately people were commenting that grapes are toxic. You cannot have your cats eat grapes. Like calling me irresponsible. I did not know that cats could not eat grapes. Immediately, I Google it, and sure enough, they're toxic. They can cause kidney disease, and honestly, your cat's kidneys can shut down from one grape. Thankfully, though, like I said, he didn't eat the grape, but still, like, it concerned me enough that I didn't know that. I bet there are lots of foods that cats shouldn't eat or can't eat um, because they're toxic for them and maybe not even toxic, but can cause them harm. I would also just like to say that up until Nelson, we did not let our cats eat human food. I mean, like none of them had ever jumped up on our laps or jumped up on the table and like taken food and ran away. Like that is not something that we allowed. And it had just never happened. I don't know that we didn't allow it. It just, nobody had ever done that. And then also with the foster kittens, very seldom do we introduce the foster kittens to the big cats. Like we keep them isolated. Nelson was an exception because he hit his two pounds and I went to schedule his vaccine appointment because they have their vaccine appointment. Once they hit two pounds, then a week later they get surgery and they are put up for adoption. Well, unfortunately, when I went to do his vaccine appointment, it was two weeks out. So that meant we were going to have Nelson for another three weeks. And he was already trying to get out of the bedroom and see what was going on in the great big world beyond the door. Since we had had him for five weeks at that point and he was in isolation, it's perfectly safe to allow him to be integrated with the other cats as long as everyone's accepting of each other. So so we, we did all of that right. But up until that point of letting him be out with people in, in the living room with big cats, we didn't know that he was a trash panda. Like, I, there was no indication that he would steal people food because I didn't eat in the bedroom with him. So besides grapes, which we already talked about, don't let your cat have grapes or raisins. Grapes or raisins because raisins are dried grapes. So don't let them have that. Which also the reason that they can't have grapes is the same reason that your wine tastes so good. So anyway, take that for what you will. All right, number two food that your cats should eat is Chocolate. And so chocolate is really bad for dogs too. Don't let your cats or dogs have chocolate. Probably don't let them have. Don't let your dogs have any of these foods on the list either. Already knew about chocolate. 
so that wasn't really a surprise to me. And then I also knew about the number three food, which is milk and of course dairy. Like they, they shouldn't have any dairy, any kind of dairy, no cheese or yogurt or, or milk, which that is the one food that my big cats will try to get. Like if I'm having a bowl of cereal and I set the bowl down, they'll try to jump up and lick the bowl of the milk. That was a thing, but nothing like jumping in your lap, grabbing a piece of food and running. That, that was all new to us. The fourth food that you should not let your cats eat is onions. We don't really have onions in our house. Like I use onion powder. I don't, here's a secret. <laughs> I'm not a very good cook, and so I don't cook with onions or garlic, plus I'm old, and so onions upset my stomach. So we don't really have onions, and the number five food is garlic. We don't really have garlic either. We use garlic powder or garlic salt. Here's an interesting fact. Garlic and onion come from the same food category called alliums, A-L-L-I-U-M-S. I don't know how to say that word. That is a new word to me. So I apologize if I'm saying it wrong. Polyums food group also includes shallots and chives. So those should all be in one big list of no-nos. No garlic, no onions, no chives, no shallots. They're all no-nos. Have you ever heard the no-no song by Ringo Starr? I only bring that up because it's a really funny song. Anyway, has nothing to do with topic. The number sixth food that cats should not have is avocados. And these aren't in any particular order either. And I'm sure this is not a complete list. These are just the foods that I feel like made the top of the list and people probably have them. Avocados are high on the list. But honestly, with the price of avocados right now, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be leaving it around for the cats to get into. Which brings me to number seven, which is raw eggs. Cats should not have raw eggs, but like neither should people. I mean, not really. Even if you do have chocolate chip cookie dough that your child made from scratch and you have a little raw egg, you probably shouldn't. Don't eat raw eggs. Don't let your cats eat raw eggs. But cooked are okay. Although again, I am really curious about who has the money to feed their cats the cooked eggs. I hope this video helps you avoid unintentionally hurting your cats, especially the trash panda kind of cats who try to eat everything. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And remember, shorts are posted daily, long forms each week, and we'll see you next Friday. Bye!